So, Olivia, thanks for joining us for the fall and officially for the spring. I started playing baseball when I was around five years old at Forest Hills Little League in Queens, New York. And um, there are two girls on my lob ball team. And then since then, I've never had um, another female teammate. It was evident from the beginning she had a plan, uh, just from her stretching routine, her warm ups. I mean, she's played with Team USA, so she's been at an elite level uh, in the past. And, uh, that that showed. I don't think that we thought that it would go this far, but um, starting eighth grade or freshman year of high school, we thought, well, maybe it could actually, maybe I could actually play at the collegiate level. It's it was something that I like, just started thinking about, and it didn't um, seem like something tangible until I started to get further into the recruitment process. Her biggest critic is in between her ears. I think that drive for her to excel, that drive for her to be successful is something that I think she's she's got in her core. And so that, that makes her better, that pushes those around her better. I think that it's really cool to have, that we're having more and more female baseball players at the collegiate level. You know, no matter what division it is, um, it's just really good to see this progression and I think that it's really paving the way for um, other girls in the next generation to um, you know, also have these goals um, that they want to achieve and you know, like, dream big and um, know that like, they can do it.